morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Monday, August 20th. Police are investigating a double shooting in North Philadelphia that left a 14 year old boy in the hospital. The gunfire broke out overnight on the 3100 block of Park Avenue. Police responded to the scene around 12:30 this morning, and there they found the teenager and a 25 year old man with gunshot wounds. Both the teenager and the 25 year old victim are in critical condition. Police are now hoping that nearby surveillance cameras will help them catch the shooter or shooters. And after a night of frustration, operations are finally back on track for Amtrak and SEPTA. A junkyard fire in Frankfurt last night caused suspended service, leaving many riders stranded. The fire broke out around 7 o'clock last night near Torsdale and Adams Avenue. And look at this video. Thick black smoke could be seen for miles. The fire burned close to rail lines, which did lead to that suspended service. And firefighters in Northampton County had their hands full putting out this huge tractor trailer fire last night. It broke out along the southbound lanes of Route 33 near exit 22 in Bethlehem Township. One firefighter was taken to the hospital for evaluation. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Okay, let's check in now with meteorologist Katie Failinger. Katie, looks like all in all, it should be a pretty nice day. Yeah, you know, today really isn't too bad. We actually still have a frontal boundary nearby, Rahel. It's parked off to our south, a little further south than it was yesterday, so it shouldn't have as much wet weather to offer our area. I'm not ready to rule out a little hint of drizzle or a stray shower in spots, but generally speaking, we're in the clear for now. Now, that is something that does uh, not necessarily remain the case heading into the middle part of the week. Tuesday and Wednesday, we've got a series of fronts from a larger system that'll be crossing through. So we do have as a result of that some active weather to track in the form of showers and storms both Tuesday and Wednesday. However, by Thursday, high pressure is regaining control and that's going to stick around for a couple of days, bringing with it not just sunshine, but also some comfortable warmth and the bonus low humidity. Now in the meantime today, again, it's still not a bad day and certainly not a bad night. If you want to do some grilling outside around dinner time, about 78 degrees, but officially we're shooting for a daytime high around 81. That technically a couple of degrees below average, but but nothing terribly oppressive about the temperatures in the next few days. Once more, your eye gets drawn to Tuesday, Wednesday. Those are the active days of the seven day. And then it is a smooth sail starting on Thursday. And we're fingers crossed right now, Rahel, it looks as though we're going to keep some beautiful weather in that outlook through the weekend. Oh. Here's hoping the timing works out. Here's hoping, Katie. That'll be a nice <laughs> change. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecasts and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.